It's time for Kelly Pulley's Storybook Studio. The Adventures of Log. Log found himself chained to the back of a truck. He couldn't believe all his horrible luck. As he rolled down the mountain, Log's worry was growing. He shouted, Does anyone know where we're going? Then someone called out as they rumbled downhill. It's taking us logs to the furniture mill. The what? shouted Log. But I mustn't go there. I wouldn't be happy if I were a chair. Why not? said a voice. There are worse things to be. My cousin's an outhouse. The things he must see. Then Log said, If only they'd make me a boat, I could travel to places far off and remote. Well, you won't be a boat if you stay on this truck. We'll be tables and chairs, and it looks like you're stuck. But Log wouldn't listen. I've got to be free. There are seas to be sailed. There are places to see. Then his chain wiggled loose, and the truck hit a bump. He was tossed from the stack and came down with a thump. I'm free, shouted Log as he rolled to a stop at the edge of a ledge with a very long drop. Well, that could have ended up badly, he said, as a squirrel fell out of the hole in his head. Now the squirrel was dangling out over the edge in danger of pulling them both off the ledge. She pulled and she pulled and she nearly got in when a nut from the hole hit her smack in the chin. So down they both tumbled. They smashed and they crashed. Then finally, into a river, they splashed. The squirrel found safety by climbing Log's nose. But the river was rough and the speed quickly rose. Now Log and the squirrel were tossing about. They rolled and they pitched and they wished they were out. Then they stopped. They were caught on a rock in the river. What the squirrel could see from her perch made her quiver. Log looked at the squirrel. What is it? he said. He could see on her face an expression of dread. And even though Log had a head made of wood, he knew that the thing that she saw was not good. you help a piece of wood, please subscribe. Oh,